Dmitry Ryoblov, who basically popped $60 million neatly into Donald Trump's pocket in this transaction. He doesn't have much of an American profile, but he does have one very important American connection. Remember I said that he's one of the major shareholders in that bank of Cyprus? The chairman of that bank, as I said, is the former chairman of Deutsche Bank, which just paid a $630 million fine for laundering illegal Russian money. Uh, he was installed as chairman at the Bank of Cyprus by the two vice chairman of that bank. One of the vice chairmen of that bank is, as I mentioned, Vladimir Putin's close associate. But the other vice chairman of that bank is an American. The American is, in fact, the single largest shareholder in that bank. That bank that includes the guy whose firm was just done for the Russian money laundering and Vladimir Putin's very close associate. I should tell you, the vice chairman who that guy replaced was not only also a close Vladimir Putin associate, he was a guy who Putin was in the KGB with before he became Vladimir Putin. This bank is, is also owned in part by the Russian king of fertilizer, who did this inexplicable deal that Donald Trump miraculously stumbled into that netted him $60 million for doing basically nothing. There is one American who is in the middle of that bank, who is the single largest shareholder, shareholder in that bank. There's one American in that bank. And tonight, that American was just confirmed as our nation's new Secretary of Commerce. His name is Wilbur Ross. He's an American businessman, longtime friend of Donald Trump. Not much experience in international banking, but inexplicably ended up the majority shareholder in a Cypriot bank with all sorts of ties to Vladimir Putin and to a Russian oligarch who somehow, through some intermediary, we don't know who, ended up stuffing $60 million into Donald Trump's wallet, paying him $100 million for something that Trump had just bought for $40 million and that the oligarch apparently had no personal interest in whatsoever. He never even bothered living in it and maybe never even visited. But Trump and that oligarch, no questions asked. They never met. No connection whatsoever, except through Wilbur Ross, Donald Trump's old, old friend, who will be sworn into the cabinet tomorrow.